This would be unthinkable to most people. These workers are unclogging the drains of India's rambling sewer network and blocking pipes filled with human excrement with their bare hands. It's called manual scavenging and it's illegal. This is how it's meant to happen. A machine pump goes in and unblocks the drains. But the problem is that in many parts of India, this doesn't happen. People go down into the sewers and that is a dangerous profession. Two people losing their lives. These kinds of stories have become commonplace in India. Sewer workers often from the Dalit or untouchable community dying from toxic fumes or drowning in overflowing septic tanks. Last month, Rani, a mother of four young children, heard that something had happened to her partner, Anil. Witnesses say that the rope used to lower Anil down the manhole had snapped. The string of recent high-profile deaths has led to protests in India led by this man, Bezwada Wilson. He set up a pressure group, the Safai Kamachari Andalan, which looks to highlight the unsanitary and often dangerous conditions workers put up with. India has a space program and we are in competing with the whole world, but we don't have any severe system. That paints a lot. Why? Unreported cases are there that we are not taking into the consideration. Reported cases also every year it is increasing. And this last 2017, January till now, there are the 221 people we lost. They are the citizens of the country. And even the country or the world, we everybody must take that. Why they should die like this? That's a good question. So we thought we'd try and answer it. When it comes to manual scavenging, let's first look at the money. From our investigations, this is typically what happens. Let's say the drain of an organisation is blocked. The organisation responsible for it will call a private contractor to unblock it for a fee. The private contractor will then call on a subcontractor. Once again, the private contractor takes a cut. This is where it all gets a bit informal. The subcontractor will know people on the ground and whether they're free to work. By the time the money gets to the workers, they get about 400 rupees for a day's work. That's about four pounds. Rani blames the subcontractors for her partner's death. So we tracked one down. Abdul is the guy you call if you want to find people who'll go into the sewers. What he does is illegal, so we've protected his identity. When we spoke to one of the victim's partners, she specifically blamed contractors like you for the death of her partner. What do you say to that? The government banned manual scavenging 25 years ago and set up a commission into the practice to monitor abuse of the law. So I went to see its chairman, Manha Zala. I'm very much unhappy and very much disappointing. I pray to God, God, please stop this, please stop this. For but them. you don't have to pray to God because you're the man in charge. So yeah. you can do something about it. Yeah, I'm also working the is matter. I'm saying that uh, mechanized system, 
skill development. I'm wondering that. But there, there has to be someone responsible here, though, surely. There has to be someone that we can put questions to. Because if everyone's saying, well, it's not us, then nothing will ever change. This most probably the responsible is the principal employer, those who hire the contractor. The man who's hiring the contractor yes, is responsible. Yes, he is the number one uh, 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 responsible. So it's not the government, it's not the commission, the number one uh, party responsible for these deaths yes, are the people the hiring the contractors. The contractors. So who are the principal employers? Well, they're the organisations who commissioned the work in the first place. Now, we've been in touch where workers have died on their premises doing work that they paid for, but none of them wanted to be interviewed. So let's recap. The victims' families blame the subcontractors. The subcontractors blame the municipal authorities. The authorities blame the people who pay the private contractors. And the people who pay the private contractors that we approached didn't want to be interviewed. Everyone is saying that I am not responsible and they are saying that the other one is the responsible. Other one is saying that no, I am not other. So I feel so pity about the whole situation. I expect some of leadership must come out and say that yes, I am a responsible. I will prevent this death. In many ways, manual scavenging is a parable for some of the problems affecting India. A complex system of administration that makes devolving blame easy. The government says that the future is mechanisation, but in lots of India, that simply doesn't happen. There is some evidence, though, that the public have had enough. A picture of Rani's son crying over the body of her partner went viral. A crowdfunder has raised $43,000 for Rani's family. Most families, though, aren't so lucky. And the grim reality is that as long as sewers continue to be blocked, there'll be money for people willing to risk their lives to unblock them.